Hey guys, 2017 is in full swing, and we're going to start this season off with a little turkey action. This week, Jeremy and I head down to the big town of Luwaki, Texas, and fling some arrows at some Rio Grands. So sit back, grab your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. All right, morning, folks. Uh, Saturday morning, first day of turkey season, and we got ambushed by the turkey instead of the other way around. Turn my heat warmer on on my seat. Yeah, I Defroster on high.
Hey, guys. Something's wrong with Tom. He just fell over. Come on, guy. Hey, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. It's just a scratch. It was just a little arrow. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I guess Kelly won the bet. Shows that fan. That's pretty. Yeah. That ought to work. <laughs> that is pretty. Man, that's a pretty bird. That is gorgeous. That's what we're after right there. Fighting too much. Mm -hmm. It might be a little early. All right, morning, folks. Uh, Saturday morning, first day of turkey season, and we got ambushed by the turkey instead of the other way around. We had just got in, got set up, and they got right on top of us before we were even ready. So we didn't have any uh, pre-hunt interview. <laughs> just wasn't ready period uh, the plan was for Jeremy to shoot first but the way the turkey come in we just couldn't get an angle well he's being modest I came to full draw and I was shaking so bad I couldn't get the <laughs> get the shot off yeah turkey went out of out of my view yeah they got out so. of got out of Jeremy's ankle there we're pretty tight in that little two-man pop-up I had his pinched in so I had a good shot where I could have a decent angle so Laid that one tom down. I uh, had quite a few more come in. Uh, those group of toms, it was five or six, I guess. They kept pecking on this one. They never would leave, but they never gave us another shot. So At least 20 minutes they're sitting over there. Yeah. We yeah. saw them move off to the west after another tom. So the game plan right now is we're going to head to the north and kind of get around them and just try to do a little spot and stalk and see what happens. They're not around us now, so we can't spook them anymore. Yeah. So y'all come along for the ride. We'll see what happens. some turkey. Uh, they're up about 80, 100 yards ahead of us. Jeremy's gonna head off to the west and get back over another side of that thicket. And then I'm gonna walk down here and see if I can't push him over to him. So we're gonna sit here and hang out and call for a bit. Okay, Jeremy just gave me the signal. So let's go down here and see if we can push him.
uh, there's a good look at my bird. Uh, we went out and did a little spot and stalk, and we jumped some turkey, got busted. Anyway, we circled way up in front of him and came back around, pushed him off in some thicket. So Jeremy went to the other side, and I walked down and pushed him in there. I don't know if they made it over to him or not. Uh, I couldn't tell if there was any toms in there. I saw two hens. So, but it's really, really thick. So I'm just not sure what was in there. Uh, another group of toms had busted this. I think they took off the other way. So it was a, a fun morning, very exciting. Um, like we said earlier, we just didn't have time to get set up at all. They were on top of us before we were ready. I didn't have all the camera gear set up, so we just did the best that we could. Didn't even have anything on tripods this morning, just didn't have time. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, that first group of toms to come in, they actually tore up the, uh, the tom decoy. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. I wish we could have got that on camera. Anyway, I'm going to sit here. Uh, I'm back at the pop-up. Uh, just going to kind of hang out on Jeremy probably run to the other side of the ranch and uh, just try to do some spot calling and just see if we can figure out where they went. We'll have a better plan for this evening and uh, definitely a better plan for in the morning if we can figure out where they're going. They kind of change their routine from winter to summer here and we're just not sure where they go or where would be the best place this afternoon. So anyway, it's been good to be back out in God's country. See, I think I bring Kelly because I like him, but I bring him because we have cakes. Pretty interesting. We've had a little yearling doe that has been hanging around for about two hours. Kind of run in, run out, run in, run out. Uh, just won't commit to the feeder. Just a little spooked. Uh, so far, we caught in uh, one Jake there earlier. Pretty good sized bird, but just looking at his feathers there on the back end, those center four stood up about two inches higher than the rest so that just indicates it's a jake probably about a two-year-old turkey and uh, stayed pretty calm after that and we've called in two more hens may have been jakes it was kind of hard to tell they never really found out on us enough to really tell what they were doing but anyway jeremy's got about 30 minutes left so but it's been pretty quiet had a little storm come through here that kind of messed up the turkey a little bit, I think. Oh, got some coming. Where? They're straight behind the feeder.
Well, as we sat there and watched the turkey do their final dance between the trees, that day just about came to an end when Hurricane Katrina's sister decided to show up and wash out the rest of the hunting. So after we played in the mud a little bit and cleaned a bird, that pretty much ended up our weekend. But next week, Jeremy and Gavin get to go have a little father-son time, so stay right. tuned for the next episode. Is this video going to be R-rated? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's probably 7-inch beard, 8-inch beard. For here, that's a good beard. It's a good tom. Good morning. Bottom turkey. Oh my goodness, I see its breast. Yeah.